hello welcome back to my channel I am Cat Woods so I'm going to share my review over this long 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 awaited um, Bible from Holman I love Holman Bibles you guys and I have a lot I mean my collection is overwhelming from them this CSB translation is one of my absolute favorites for just sitting down and just reading reading um, not with really having to concentrate on the words like how you read a King James you really have to concentrate on the wording this one you can read and just fly through it you really understand you really grasp what the author is trying to convey to you so this is the very 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 first goatskin leather Bible this is a, their very first premium Bible so I am super super excited to be um, able to and blessed enough to be able to share it on my channel. Oh, come here, sorry. Come on. All right, so um, a, a little quick disclaimer. Um, there is other reviews I've seen out there, but I haven't heard anyone else mention this. So I created a post and I went and asked in quite a few different Bible um, groups asking, for those of you who have this Bible, did you, when you first open it, where you're hit with a chemical smell. And I thought it was just mine. Maybe it was just like, you know, like a little fluke or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what caused it. But an over, overwhelming amount said yes. Yes, yes, yes. So um, this is not, it's not anything bad towards this Bible. The smell does go away. But please do be warned. If you do open it and you do smell it, don't worry. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's their first Bible, so they're trying, not like their first Bible, but their first premium, they're trying to work out everything out, get all the bugs, you know how it is. So, let's be patient, and the best way to get rid of it is keep the Bible out of the box. Keep it open. Um, I've heard um, a brother say that he uses, like, dryer sheets. That right there, that tip sounded the most the best out of all the tips that I've heard, putting like a dryer sheet in between um, every so often like sheets. I had mine air out in my kitchen, laid out on my desk, up, up on my desk because I have cats, open for four to five days. And after like the fifth day, then I could really start smelling the actual natural leather come through. Now, I'm not sure if it was caused from the the cover smelling like it it really didn't it really smelled like it was the paper like the actual paper itself there's there's different things people said the cover smell different I said the paper smell so who knows there's just something okay but a couple of days air it out it will be fine all right so um but this Bible woo wee you guys it is amazing and for those days that I was letting it air out, I was like, oh, come on, come on, come on. I want to use it. All right. So we're going to hop on in. It is a like a um, hard box. They have it all beautiful taped up for you. You really feel special. Like you're opening something amazing when they go the extra mile. To really present it in a special way so I, I, I like that I like that a lot now this is a review copy from Holman thank you so much for sending it to me so whatever I share with this Bible no it is a review copy yours will not come like this <laughs> I did mention that quite a few times before in other videos all right so you get this beautiful, um, oh, I don't even know how to, I don't know. Let's see. Let me take you off the tripod here. I always like bringing you up close. Yes, Desari. Are you trying to say hi? No, you're trying to hide? All right. So look at this green. It is literally, my phone could focus on it. It's soft. It is pillow soft. I don't know if you can really see that. maybe that it's squishy soft but it is also like um it, it's firm it is firm but it has like a pillow it really feels like a pillow when you hold it in your hand which makes it that much more amazing 
There it is. Can, can you see? Hopefully that's showing you really what it is. I love their choice of leather for this. It's super grainy. We got the tool hubs and the gold foiling. So excited about this Bible, you guys. Oh my, my, my. And then look at this. Oh, look how gorgeous this is, you guys. No, Bubba, no, we can't keep hitting my phone. So we have this gold foiling, which really steps up the quality. The um, I, I feel it, having that gold really steps up the, the premium feel. Of course, it's edge line. We have the presentation page, title page, and it's brand new, so it just came out this year. That's why I was so excited to share it. They do have a brown bonded leather and a black premium leather. It is printed in China. And the paper is amazing. This whole whole Bible, you're going to be hearing me say the whole Bible. It's just, it is, it is stunning. The only problem I had was that strong chemical smell at the very, very beginning. Now, it is kind of tight. It's, it is a brand new Bible. As you can tell, this edge line, it's just, as soon as I wear it in, it will lay down flat. But that edge line just needs to be, as we know, wore in. All right, here is the Bible. Check that out. Oh, wait, wait, I did forget. It is Smythe three ribbon markers. We got a black, gold, and a red. We have black matching head and tail bands. It is gold gilding. Look at that craftsmanship. There is like a semi yap. And I just, I love the way this leather feels. It is unlike any goat skin. Like, this is the softest goat skin I have ever felt. Like, truly the softest. Alright, now I'm going to go back to the first page. So, this is a two-column format. As we know, it's going to be verse by verse. The chapters and numbers, along with the book of the Bible, is in this beautiful red color. We have margin space in the gutters. Beautiful margin up on the side here, down below. We do have um, references here at the bottom, or footnotes here at the bottom, references over here, the right-hand corner. A lot like how Skylar does it and Crossway. It is art gilt, so we got this beautiful light, um, like a salmon. It's not really red, it is like a light, almost a tan color. So it's it's a light, it's a light color. But there is art gilt. The paper is beautiful. It's so so soft. Like, it's one of those where you want to, like, read just so you can have a reason to, with your finger, so you can have a reason to, like, pet the paper. Sorry about that. The ghosting is non-existent. You can just see a little bit more on camera. It is a 10-point font, and if you're marking in your Bible, there's enough room just to mark whatever word you want to do. This is like, it's literally like a dream Bible for marking. Because the wording is so perfect, and it's not like little word, like little letters. No, little words, I was right. Always second-guessing myself. 
you got beautiful margin space in the middle that is my favorite when they call it a wide margin Bible I understand we want the outer margins but we if it's a two column format we want to also be able to write about the middle too so this gutter space for me it's extremely important to be able to write in the gutter space because I, I love it I love just writing and doing extensive notes here is one of the ribbon markers now this is why I did say I have a review copy so yours won't come like this it is like a little bit tore up at the back here there you go you can see it a little bit so yours shouldn't come like that they put review copies back we get these kind for those of us that are YouTube reviewers so it's where like the mark you know it's the little light mark uh, what I don't even know it's not even a mark a little reason why no one you know paying a hundred and some dollars for the Bible would not want that so they put these Bibles back especially for the reviewers to where we still get the beautiful Bible still be able to write in it all right coming up to the Psalms which is my favorite I don't know why I like sharing the Psalms, but it is beautiful. So beautiful. And look at all of this. Amazing for notes. Okay, we have another ribbon. We're going to hop back here into the New Testament. As you can tell, it is a black letter edition, which a lot of CSB Bibles are. I've, I've noticed that. I don't think I've ever, just like Crossway. Crossway has a few red letters, but CSB, I don't think I've ever seen a red letter. So I think their main goal is the whole Bible is inspired by God. Oh, I wish I can explain how soft and beautiful this page is. So when you're like reading, literally, when you're reading this Bible, it's it's a good sized Bible, but it's nice and floppy. It's beautiful. It's so comfortable, lightweight. Now we'll come back here in the back. Now we do also have um, I don't know if you can really tell on on here. The New Testament, whenever it refers to the Old Testament, it is bold. So this right here will be quoted from the Old Testament. So it is bolder than the actual ink. So I do like that touch. All right, and then we have table weights and measurements. Then the three column concordance, which is also wrapped up with margin. You get margin space back here too. It's not a real big one, as you can tell. There is no map index pages, just straight into the concordance, straight into the maps, which I really, really like these maps, you guys. It is on cardstock, but it's not glossy cardstock. Oh, no, no. No, it's not. It is. Huh. I guess it is. But this is really lightweight cardstock. This isn't like normal thick cardstock. So that's cool. So for the people that don't like the thick cardstock paper, like the glossy stuff, this is perfect. This is like in between Bible paper and actual 
cardstock. That is cool. I don't think I've ever seen paper like that. The maps are colorful, very, very clean, able to read. Huh, I just noticed that. Like the paper is literally, it's different. It's like a lightweight cardstock. All right, so we get a couple of maps and we're to the end of the Bible. I love showing the green. It is stitch perimeter, like stitching around the perimeter. I did also want to say that. So every special little detail that they've been paying attention to, that what makes a good premium Bible they really, really just put it all. They didn't wait for us to say, hey, can you add three ribbon markers? Can you make sure the quality? Yeah, the quality of the ribbon markers are amazing. They they, they are. They're pretty good quality. I mean, they're not the best, um, but they're pretty good quality. So I didn't even think about that. They have the gold foiling. Um, the yap, it's a semi-yap. So we didn't even have to say, can you make the yap a little bit bigger? It's just they really did an amazing job with this Bible, especially for the like the first the first run, the first one out. So amazing job, Holman. You did you hit it right right on the nail. All but that smell. <laughs> so all right. Um thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking it up on my review today. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As always, remember be a creative tool. In our father's art box today if you do have any questions leave them below i do love communicating with you all and i'll talk to you all later bye